That's where we begin. The Pittsburgh Penguins. They didn't win last night, but before I get to the game, you know, you can really be a winner with your family. Hopefully you've got your motorist, but there is a nice little story right down there that I'm going to tell you about right now. You know, there is no place like home, and when I grew up, I had five sisters and me, so you look at six kids, mom and dad, you know, hotel, pretty tough to do, especially when you're trying to, well, keep everybody under one roof. Well, guess what AAA East Central has for you? Orlando, Florida. Hotels are great. I love room service. I mean, who doesn't? But that's maybe when you're traveling alone or with maybe your significant other. But when it comes to that family, like it was with the original Pratt Pack many years ago in that cottage along Lake Erie at Geneva on the Lake, well, how about this? Furnished vacation home that you rent by the week or longer. AAA East Central makes it easy to find the right vacation home in Orlando with four to five bedroom luxury homes with all the amenities, conveniently located minutes from the theme park. Ladies and gentlemen, why would you not do this? I mean, you can cook at home. You can be all together at home and plan your day or talk about what you did earlier in the day at one of those great theme parks, whether it be Disney or Universal. And how about this? Remember the date, February 28th. That's just a couple of weeks away. AAA has a special offer when you book and deposit a one-week Orlando home rental and prepay a Hertz car rental between now and February 28th. 1-800-354-8761. Call one of your great AAA East Central offices. We have one newly remodeled, absolutely spectacular, right there in Rochester on Adams Street. So don't you think it's time that you get that house and rent it for a week or maybe longer in Orlando? And don't forget Valentine's Day fast approaching. Show your card and save. All sorts of wonderful things it can do for you. Now, oh, I have to get some of this. Winter Wonderland. Sheets coffee. There is some snow I hear headed our way, according to AccuWeather. Temperature is going to drop quite a bit. No problem. I'll just warm up with some great coffee and MTO food to go. I wonder what's on the menu today. I might just go the salad route. We'll see. But I will be there later today. I'm, I'm sure of it. When you walk into Sheets and they know you by your first name, you know you're a good customer. Anyway... Back to the Pens. Sidney Crosby's attempt to become the 86th player to score 1,000 points in his career. He did get an assist. He did get another point. Now at 998. But the Pens lost in a shootout overtime the final 3-2. We'll tell you more about that game tonight and the quest for Crosby that will continue tomorrow in Colorado when Jim Equals from the Beaver County Times and I are at Redici's Restaurant in Manaka. Also going to talk about Pitt at Boston College. That game coming up tonight. 93-7 the fan at 7. Robert Morris will be in action tomorrow at the Sewell Center when they host Mount St. Mary. We're going to be talking about how they came off a really nice trip to New York got a couple of big wins and why Isaiah Sill has had the hot hand for Andy Tools Colonials are late. But I got to talk about the Nittany Lions. We are Penn State. How about Last night, Lamar Stevens, a freshman, scored 16 of his 25 points in the second half, and Penn State defeated number 21 Maryland 70 to 64 at the Bryce Jordan Center. Lions coach Patrick Chambers quote: "We put the ball inside to him, and he made some good choices that he did. But he also talked about how he's been spending as much as three hours in the gym a day working on his three-point shot. So congratulations to Penn State. Nice win there. Now." Number 13, WVU, was number 7 when they last got together with Oklahoma January the 8th. Scored Jordan Woodard, a senior point guard for the Sooners, scored 20 points, and they upset WVU 89-87. The Mountaineers are at the Lloyd Noble Center tonight for a 9 p.m. tip-off against Oklahoma. Ohio State coming off Monday's upset win over Michigan will face Rutgers tonight at the Value City Center at 7. And the Indiana Pacers, who have won seven straight, will take on the Cleveland Cavaliers at home tonight at the Bankers Life Fieldhouse. Also tonight, we're going to talk to uh, Jim Equals of the Beaver Allegheny County Times about 
his thoughts on Super Bowl 51, big victory parade yesterday in New England. Also, we're going to talk some baseball and that move that will send Andrew McCutcheon to right field. Starling Marte goes to center and Gregory Polanco to left. We'll talk a little other Pirates news and notes as well. Why? Because it won't be long. Pitchers and catchers are headed to Bradenton for some fun in the sun. And the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am at Spyglass, Pebble Beach, California, begins tomorrow as well. So make sure that you're tuned in to the Golf Channel. Also tonight, that great dynamic duo, they are Scott Tatey and Megan Miller from the Beaver Allegheny County Times. You hear them on that podcast called The Buzz. You've seen them with me before. They too, along with Rick Granati and I, are going to be sitting and doing a little munge a together tonight at that beautiful Radici's restaurant, 1034 Pennsylvania Avenue. They, ladies and gentlemen, have everything you need, including incredible craft beers, courtesy of Ed Shewak Distributing. We're going to be talking tonight about the Grammys, and we're not going to go through every category, because that would take some time, but some of the more popular ones, Record of the Year, which is Adele, Hello, Formation, Beyonce, Seven Years, Lucas Graham, Work, Rihanna, featuring Drake and Stressed Out, 21 Pilots, also Album of the Year, 25, Adele, Lemonade, Beyonce, Purpose, Justin Bieber, Views, Drake, A Sailor's Guide to Earth, Sturgill Simpson, Song of the Year, Formation, Hello, I Took a Pill, also Love Yourself in Seven Years, and Best New Artist, could it be Kelsa Ballerini, The Chainsmokers, Chance the Rapper, got a great Kit Kat commercial out by the way right now, Marion Morrison, Anderson Pock, all of that tonight with Scott and Megan. Also, Coming up Sunday, the Grammys are on at 8 o'clock on CBS. James Corden, of course, of The Late Late Show on CBS will be hosting. But the British Film Awards are coming up. This is kind of like the next step before the Academy Awards hosted by Jimmy Kimmel later in the month of February. But the British Film Awards have always intrigued me. And we're going to talk about what's happening there as far as some of the top categories. You have got uh, leading actress Amy Adams in Arrival, Emily Blunt, the Girl on the Train, Emma Stone, La La Land, Meryl Streep, Florence Foster Jenkins, and Natalie Portman as Jackie, as in Jackie Kennedy Onassis. And the leading actor, uh, up for grabs, it is Andrew Garfield, of course, Mel Gibson's Hacksaw Ridge, Casey Affleck, Manchester by the Sea, um, Jake Gyllenhaal's Nocturnal Animals, um, it is uh, Viggo Mortis Mortison, Captain Fantastic, and Ryan Gosling in La La Land. Supporting actress, uh, Haley Squires, I, Daniel Blake, Michelle Williams, Manchester by the Sea, Naomi Harris in Moonlight, Nicole Kidman getting rave reviews for her role in Lion and As Is, Viola Davis in Fences. Supporting actor, Arian Taylor-Johnson, Nocturnal Animals, uh, Dev Patel in Lion, Jeff Bridges, Heller High Water, Hugh Grant, Florence Foster Jenkins, and Marshala Ali in Moonlight. Now, Film of the Year at the British Film Awards, which are also going to be on Sunday, Arrival, I, Daniel Blake, La La Land, Manchester by the Sea, and Moonlight. The only thing I'm wondering is, why didn't Denzel Washington get nominated for a Best Actor nomination? I do think, and I am hoping, that he wins that little thing called Oscar coming up later this month. All right, that'll do it. I know that was a lot to digest, but folks, I know you can handle it. Because that's how we roll in the Pratt Pack Gym. Radici Restaurant later tonight, talking sports, talking entertainment. And they, of course, from my hometown paper, the Beaver Allegheny County Times. Find out more, timesonline.com. Better yet, get a subscription. Have them say, paper! Put it up on your porch each and every day. That's a great way to start your day. Timesonline.com. And, ladies and gentlemen, until later tonight, I hope you have yourself a great rest of the day. And remember... You got to go get some K-Cups. Winter Wonderland. It truly will add something to the season. Good day.